Hi, welcome to RocklyFit.com. Today's recipe is a dessert, and I've got a banana bread for you. This is absolutely delicious. It comes from the Mark's Daily Apple website, and when I first saw it, it just seemed too simple to be true. And so, of course, the simpler the recipes, the more I like them. And so I gave it a go, and it was absolutely fantastic, so I had to uh, share it with you. So here we go. The in ingredients are very few. We start off with some ground almonds. A pinch of salt, some uh, baking soda, organic eggs, crushed almonds, butter, and some bananas. Now with the bananas, you want them the riper the better, because that's what's going to add the sweetness for the cake. Uh, if you're in a bit of a, um, if you don't have ripe bananas and you're in a bit of a rush and you want to get the cake done, perhaps you're taking it to someone's house as a treat, um, then you can add a little bit of uh, maple syrup. It's a bit of a cheat, but you don't need it a lot. Just a tea teaspoon or so will help um, to sweeten the cake. So let's get started. I've added some of the dry ingredients already. I've got two cups of the ground almonds with one teaspoon of the baking soda. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon, you just add as much as you would like. And then I've got the crushed walnuts. Perfect. So I'm just going to set that aside and move on to the wet ingredients. This really is unbelievably simple. So you're going to take your ripe bananas. I've already crushed, mashed one up in the bowl. So I'm just going to mash this one, add it to the other one. There we go. Really, really quick. You want to make sure you really mash them quite well and not leave many lumps just to release the nice sugar from the banana. So once that's done, I'm going to add my two eggs. Now depending on the size of your eggs, you can't really go wrong with this recipe. Um, you don't have to be exact in order for it to turn out quite amazing. If your if your eggs are really a bit on the small side, then simply just add another one. The first time I did it, um, that's exactly what I had to do. So I added three instead of the two. Today we've got about medium sized eggs, so I think two will be just perfect. So I'm going to keep mixing these together, keep mashing the bananas up with the egg. So that's looking quite good, as you can kind of probably see. And now I'm going to add half a cup of melted butter that I've already pre-measured out. There we go. And remember, again, we're not really paranoid about fat when we're on the primal diet. We need fat um, to lose fat, and it really helps with vitamin absorption as well. So the fat is not a big deal. Now, with anything, you're not going to be eating this cake every day. It is a treat just like any other treat. And um, if you're one of those people that are kind of prone to desserts, if you have one piece and you, you know, can't stop from having the whole cake, then, you know, what I would suggest is make it when you're gonna, going to have guests over or take it to someone's house. So then you kind of share the calories and you have one piece instead of the whole cake. Because even too much of any good thing, even a primal dessert is simply too much. All right, so I've got that nicely mixed. And I'm going to bring over my dry ingredients, and I'm going to add the wet ingredients slowly, pour a little bit at a time. Now with banana bread, the key is to not over mix the cake, because it will become hard, so you don't want to do that. I just want to set that aside there. Just mix it so it's a nice, even consistency, and all the ingredients are mixed nice and well together. So simple, simple, simple. Now I didn't add any of the vanilla extract, but if you'd like to add a bit of vanilla to your cake, then go for it. That's all just depends on on your taste buds and what you would like. So there we have it. Really, really simple. I'm going to add it to my lightly buttered, lightly buttered dish. And then this is going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes at about 170 degrees Celsius. There we go. And then also just check with the, do the little um, knife test and check in the middle to make sure it's baked evenly. So I'm going to add this mixture to the oven. There we go. So that's going to bake for 30 minutes. 
Uh, I'm going to post up the photo for you on on the, the rockofit.com website so you can see absolutely how delicious it is. And uh, yeah, enjoy. That's one of my favorite desserts so far.